Hello everyone! Today we are going to describe the end behavior of polynomial function. So if you want to know what a polynomial functions are or what is when do we say that an expression is polynomial or not, I will put the link of the description box below. So we're talking about the end behavior of polynomials. So in this example right here, all polynomial functions will resemble any of these two types of graph when we graph them. So it's either it resembles to that of quadratic and it resembles to that of cubic. So when we say end behavior, this is the one that we're talking about. This is end behavior. That is the very end of the graph. Where is it directed to? So in this problem right here, these are what we call as the end behavior. So this section is going to talk about the end behavior of every polynomial function. So there are four possible combinations of end behavior, even positive, even negative, odd positive, and odd negative. So in all of these, we have even and odd. What does it mean? So even and odd refers to the degree. Remember, degree is the highest exponent in a polynomial. And then the positive and the negative here refers to the sign of the leading coefficient. Now let's have an example to uh, to uh, to better uh, to better see these um, types of uh, end behavior. So let's take this first example right here. So I have this polynomial function right here. Okay. So first thing that we're going to do is to look look at the equation in order that we can determine the end behavior, we are supposed to arrange the terms in descending order. That means from the highest exponent to the lowest exponent. So these are the terms in this um, function, polynomial function. So if I were to arrange this, we I'm going to start with negative 2x to the fifth. So this can be rewritten as negative 2x to the fifth. That's the highest exponent. The next one is plus 3x squared. The next one is plus 4x and minus 5. So I arranged it from highest to the lowest exponent. Now, how do we describe if it's odd uh, or even or if it's positive or negative? First, we are looking at the exponent. So describe the exponent first if it's odd or even. So in this problem, this is an odd. And then to determine if it's positive or negative, we look at the, uh, the sign of the leading coefficient, which is negative. So then we can go ahead and say this is an example of an odd, um, an odd negative. So how does it look like? So I have drawn the shapes here. Odd negative is going to look like this. So it's going to go up this way and it's going to go down this way. Okay, so I actually have graphed it on Desmos to better see what's going on to this um, uh, graph. So here it is. It looks like this. So I graphed it. And so we can see that this left end is going up and the right end is going down, and it resembles the one that we draw up here, going up and going down on the left. Okay, next, we have another example right here. So that is 2x to the fourth. So first thing that we're going to do is to look at the highest exponent. This is even. And this is, there's an invisible positive right here. So this should be even positive. And so even positive is going to look like that. So the graph is going to go up that way. Okay, let's take the next example. So again, we look at the highest exponent. So this is even. 8 is even. And this is negative. So that means this is even negative. And so the shape of the graph will resemble to that shape. So it's going to look like that. And let's have the next one. So that is, 
We look at the highest exponent. So by the way, all of these three have been arranged already in descending order. So I didn't have to, we didn't have to rearrange it. So but the first one, I give it as an example. So if in any case it's not arranged in descending order, I mean the exponents, then you need to arrange it. So this one right here is odd. And the leading coefficient is invisible positive. So this is odd positive. And then, so it's going to look like this odd positive is the end behavior is going to look like this okay if you find this video helpful please like and subscribe for more math videos see ya <laughs>